Hey guys, it's Jessica and today I'm going to share with you guys a high-end haul and I am so so excited. Let's go ahead and get into it. First thing I finally bit the bullet and bought is the Lorac Pro 3 palette. I have the first and second one, but I, I every time I would look online or in stores I would see this one and think to myself, I'm going to need that. I'm going to need that right now. So I finally, finally bit the bullet and bought it and I just, aren't these colors, they just like spoke to me. Like every time I would see it I would think, that is a Jessica Braun palette. Like, I love that palette. I love this shade right there. I love that it's got a ton of mattes. They have so many more, like, medium browns, because that's what I like to use in my crease. And if it's too dark, it looks crazy. And if it's too light, it doesn't do anything. But they have so many options. They've got, like, a yellowish one, a warmer one, a more uh, cool one. They, oh my gosh, I just love it. The only dud in this palette is this color called Medallion here. It is the weirdest, like patchy but crumbly but it doesn't do anything kind of a shade isn't that horrible like how did that get passed on you start to think when you buy a palette like this when one shade is weird you think to yourself like oh it must just be this batch but I felt so much better when a lot of you guys on snapchat um, after seeing me talk about that said yes I felt the same way I'm like okay good well not good because that means they all suck that one shade but all the other ones are unbelievably let me show you a couple unbelievably pigmented. I'm just, my mind is going very, very quickly. Let me just show you a couple of swatches. Um, I'm going to do a matte one as well. Their shadows, they're very different than a lot, oh my gosh, than a lot of shadow formulas. They kick up so much power, so much. So you do, I mean like, an unbelievable amount, but they're so pigmented and pretty and they blend. It's what I'm wearing on my eyes today. They blend so beautifully that you're like, I don't even care. So when I was applying all of this today, I had fallout everywhere and I do my face makeup before my eye makeup. So I just took like a powder brush and just wiped it off at the end and it was fine. So, and I, I genuinely didn't need to apply and you can't see any fallout now. So what I did for the eye look I'm wearing today, let me see if I can remember. I put rose bronze all over my lid and then on top of that I put light gold and then let's see right under my brow bone I have Blanc right there and then in my crease I use mostly clay I love that matte shade but then I darkened it with a little bit of amethyst on the outer corner and then I also use the jet black right here also on that outer corner kind of smoked out and then dark mocha on my lower lash line and I think I added a little bit of rose bronze on top of that so I love this palette I love how cute and beige it is I think they've just knocked this one out of the park other than the one shadow um, if you know that like when you look at this palette and you know like I'm only gonna use four of those shades then it's not worth getting it's not worth getting just because I like it because if you only like four of the shades you're not gonna like it and I feel like when I look at my Lorac Pro 1 and 2, I don't use them as much, and I feel like it's because I don't love every shade, whereas on this, I'm like, oh my gosh, I literally love every shade except for that stupid one. So, I'll shut up about it. Those are my thoughts, but I love this palette. Next thing I bought, just because I'd never tried the full size of it, is just the original Bare Minerals Foundation. I've just never tried it. Like, I feel like I would get like little samples, but it was never the right shade for me, so I would just be like, mm. Like, I'd swatch it on my hand, but then pass it on to like a sister. I got it in Golden Fair. I actually think that's a really good match for me. And I did it online, so I was like, good job, Jess. Um, but it just has that classic sifter. I love their Well-Rested Concealer so much. It was in my January favorites, um, where I talked about a bunch of my favorites, but also some products I hated. I can link that below. But I think this is, oh my gosh, I like to apply it with a, um, well gosh, seeing it on my hand like this, maybe it's way too light. But I feel like I applied it with the brush the other day and it looked really nice. But look how white that looks. When you blend it out, of course, it, oh gosh, that still looks really light on camera. But I know that when I've used it, it looked really nice. So maybe I need to like look in different lighting. Maybe I look crazy when I go out like that. Um, so I'll have to keep you posted. Maybe I will need to get a different shade. We'll find out. But the formula of this is so nice. Now it can look... I don't want to say cakey because it's a totally different thing because it's this loose powder. But it really has weirdly high coverage for something that's a powder you wouldn't think it would. And it can make your skin look so healthy. So much more so than pretty much every other liquid foundation I've ever used. But, you know, when you're up close you can tell you've got something on, which, I mean, that's true for most makeup. 
but it's just, I, if you've never tried it, you need to try it because it is a really cool formula. I think it looks really nice and healthy. If you travel a lot, it's a really easy way to have a good foundation without having a liquid in your liquids bag, like if you're carrying on like I usually do. So I really was impressed. I need to see if the shade is right, but I really liked the form. Next thing I finally bought, and I just filmed today a tutorial with this, is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I was just tired of all you guys telling me about it. Not in a mean way, but I was just tired of not knowing what you meant when you would say it was amazing. So it has a huge doe foot applicator. It's $24. I got it in the shade Light Sand, which is, I think, actually works really well for me. If the video of my demo and review of this is up, I will link it below. If it's not, it will be up very soon. Um, but I was really impressed. I think it applies best with some sort of sponge, like a beauty blender. I did it with my, actually, like my Artiste brush. And it looked nice, but I do think it looked better with the... Um, Beauty Blender just because it's a lot and it is very brightening, but it's also still kind of lightweight. So I think it does, I don't know, it just looked a lot more seamless. Now, what I will say is it does still sink into fine lines. If you have this and it doesn't sink into your fine lines, you must have magical fine lines because I must have so many because it definitely sinks in. But every concealer I've ever tried sinks into fine lines and it doesn't bother me that much. So I get over it and the coverage of this and the comfortability of it, is that a word? is amazing so I still would highly recommend it and I don't have a drugstore dupe for you guys yet I will look for one I'm on the hunt but I don't have one yet so I've also got some new bite beauty products that I'm trying out these were actually sent to me from influencer and I don't always show you guys on here what I get from influencer but these I was really excited about so I was like mm, I'm gonna need to show you they sent two lip liners and two small bite beauty lipsticks but I can't find the other one I just don't know where it is they're small so it must have rolled off but they sent two lip liners. This is their Bite Lip Pencil in number 20, and it's this perfect everyday, um, I'm wearing it today, this perfect everyday lip liner. Really, really creamy. Bite Beauty just nails their lip formulas. I mean, they are so good. So if you're looking for a very nude, classic, natural lip liner, you will love number 20. And then they also sent this really deep one in number 44 that would, I mean, it's almost berry-like. You see what I mean? It would look beautiful on deeper skin tones. You could totally rock it if you've got a skin tone like mine as well, if you've got the right lip color to go with it. Um, and the lip colors I have, this one's called Whiskey, and it's meant to go with this. It's more of a brown tone, though, but isn't it beautiful? And these are their Amuse Bouche lipsticks, and they're so ridiculously comfortable. They're made from food-grade ingredients. I have a couple full-size um, ones, and you know what? I think I know where this is. I think it's in my purse. Let me go grab it. I found it. It was in my purse. I forgot I used it. So this is the shade Honeycomb, and it's, again, meant to go with that lip liner. Aren't these so flipping beautiful? So these duos are gorgeous. I also, let me just show you my other Bite lipsticks while I'm at it. Just because if you're on this Bite Beauty train, you might as well have a better idea. I also have, this is a full size, so like comparing them. Uh, Sephora sells a lot of these little duos with these small ones, um, or they have like dual-ended ones. This one's in Fig. It's one of their best-selling colors. It's a, or at least it is in my opinion, it's much more pink than honeycomb. I might like honeycomb more, honestly. And the other one I have is called beetroot, and it's this gorgeous berry color. So, so pretty. You do, especially for like beetroot, you have to have a lip liner with them because they're very, very comfortable, very pigmented, but on the outer edges of it, because it's almost a thicker formula, it can look really weird, so you have to have lip liner. So I'm really excited that they're now putting lip liners out that, you know, some of them go along with lip colors. So highly recommend number 20 and Honeycomb, and I also really like Beetroot. I mean, these are just amazing products. Speaking of lip liners, another thing that I bought recently um, is the Stila Stay All Day Lip Liner in Pinot Noir, which is funny because Pinot Noir is a red wine, but it's darker than this. Um, I just think that's kind of an interesting name. but. I wanted a really good red lip liner. This one, I haven't tried other than swatching it. It seems like it'd be really, really good, and it's a nice bright red lip liner. I've been using this Urban Decay one that I like okay, but it's just not my favorite. I mean, it's just not, so I figured it was time. I really like the Stila Stay All Day line. Like, I love their liquid eyeliner. It's one of my, no, it is my favorite that I've ever tried. I need to buy another one of those. But anyway, um, I really like that, so I figure, and I've tried the Stila Stay All Day, like, liquid lipsticks. Those are amazing. So I figure, why not try the lip liner? So, very excited to have that, and I'll have to get back to you on that as well. These next three products I got for free from Octoly, uh, and it's actually my first experience with them, 
but they this first one is this Clarins Mascara Super Volume. It's okay. I've used it for like a week. I'm wearing fake lashes today, but it's a nice mascara. I think it does a great job separating and lengthening, but it's a volumizing mascara, or at least that's in the name, and I don't think it's very volumizing. So, But I do think it's nice. It gives a nice, natural, fluttery look to your lashes, so it's not that it's a bad mascara. It's just that I don't think it's necessarily volumizing. And for the price tag, it's a lot for a mascara. So the next two things I got from Octoly are from Givenchy. These are the very first things I've ever owned from them. And I'm gonna start with the one I was pretty impressed by. This is their lipstick. This is the Givenchy Rouge Interdit Lipstick in number 13. And it's the packaging is just cool. I mean, it's ridiculous, right? I love it. But it's this red. Ooh, I wonder if, how it'll look. It's, but it's a very like comfortable, you can kind of see, it's like a, Glossy, comfortable formula. One swipe is still pretty pigmented, but it isn't like a punch you in the face, you can't see through it, opaque kind of a lipstick, which I kind of like. I feel like this is gonna be really comfortable, really pretty in the springtime, because it's kind of a pinkish red. Um, and of course, it's got like the Givenchy little like logo emblem there. So I'm excited to give this a try, especially like I said, spring's so soon. I'm so excited to try it then. This next product I was not impressed with. And I had so, I mean, first of all, look at the packaging. Again, in Givenchy, you push this in and it pops up. It looks so nice. And they they're these like little like, not domed, but like little bumped up. This is the Shimmering Nudes Eye Palette. Let me just show you. It, seemingly pigmented, it kicks up a lot of dust, which I can get beyond. That one is pretty pretty, pretty pretty. Let me show you this green one. It looks like that one from the Lorac 3, that medallion shade. It's just this weird, patchy, weird mess. Like, it doesn't really do anything. And then there's this white one here. That's the same thing. It's like almost, it looks pretty and metallic, but when you swipe it, there's nothing there and a bunch of glitter just fell all over my, my lap. So those two are huge duds. So then I was like, well, let's try these mattes. Well, this one here is okay. I mean, it's not really... I guess that it swatches actually not too bad. This one's all right. It's a kind of more camel colored, like blending color. It doesn't swatch as well, but it's okay like when you're actually applying it. This one, not bad. So I would say the three mattes are okay. This bronzy shade there is pretty nice, but then there's the green and the white and they're just like, for the price tag, this is a ridiculously high price tag. The quality should be unbelievably phenomenal, period. Because there are drugstore palettes out there that kick butt, that are so amazing, and they're way, way cheaper than this. So I'm glad that I didn't pay for this, and you guys always know, no matter if I was sent for it for free or not, I'm always honest with you guys, do not spend your money on this. I was very, very disappointed. Calm down, Jess, it's just makeup. It's just makeup. So the last things I got from Hope Look this is a site where, it's a shopping site, I mean anyone can shop on it, but it's flash sale site where they'll randomly be like clothing companies or makeup companies on there and it'll only be on there for like four days and there's only certain products and you can buy things for like 50% off what they normally are, but then after a few days it's gone and then maybe a couple months later it'll come back. So you do have to check back all the time to see like if there's products. The Balm is on there a lot, um, Kevin Aquan is on there a lot. What else is on there? Stila's on there. I don't remember what else. I feel like Tarte is on there from time to time. Yeah. Um, anyway, this was Bobbi Brown, and I was very excited because I've only tried a couple of Bobbi Brown things, and I was amazed at how much was available on there during this sale. So I'll put my link for Hotlook down below. Um, it is a referral link if you're interested. I love Hotlook. I talk about it all the time. That's where I get most of my high-end makeup because it's 50% off. I'm trying to save money, too. So the first thing I got was this foundation. It's the Moisture Rich Foundation SPF 15, and I got it in the shade Porcelain. I feel like they didn't have a ton of shades, and the next one they had up was like way too dark. Um, I don't, oh, that's a little bit too much. I don't like that it doesn't have a pump, but let's just kind of see. Ooh, it definitely feels moisturizing. And I don't think this is like a crazy high coverage kind of foundation, because it kind of just blended into my skin. Either that or the match is so unbelievably perfect. Let me try this again. Yeah, it's just the match is pretty good, but it just really kind of, I don't want to say it blends away, but it definitely just kind of blends until it's seamless in your skin, almost like a BB cream would. So I'm curious, I haven't tried this on my face yet, 
but I am very curious to try it just to see like is it worth the price tag because again this is pricey 50% off was much cheaper but it was still you know more than what I would pay for a drugstore foundation I think I got this for like $18 or maybe somewhere around there honestly there are some drugstore foundations that are creeping up on that price so so I'm excited to try that. Feels very, like I said, moisturizing. The next thing I got was another blush. I've already owned one of their blushes and I loved it. This one I'm wearing today. It's in pastel pink. This reminds me of, is it Love Joy that I, no, Full of Joy from MAC. I've gotten rid of because it got kind of old and I think it was breaking me out, but I wore that on my wedding day. It's definitely pastel, but if you use a really light hand, like I said, I used it today. I feel like it can just look really, really nice and pretty and kind of springy, but again, you want to be careful because it is a bright color, but their, their blushes are just nice. I don't think they're like, you need to run out and buy a bunch of them, but they're nice and they stay on all day and they look healthy. And I feel like there's a lot of blushes out there that, you know, you swipe them and they're so pigmented and everyone's going crazy over them, but they don't last on your face all day, whereas these do. So I do trust her blushes. Next thing I picked up was this Bobbi Brown Clear Natural Brow Shaper. It's just a clear brow gel. I haven't used it yet, but I loved that it has a small spoolie. I actually don't use brow gel every day. Since I've been using a pomade lately, it just kind of holds your brows in place naturally, so I don't feel like I need anything else. But I like having it and I liked that this was smaller than my Anastasia one that I love is like full size. This is still full size, it's just much smaller and I liked that it was clear so I figured I would give it a try since it was so much cheaper than normal. I also got a long wear cream shadow in the shade Galaxy. Um, and I've kind of just swatched this. It's a very, like, l not loose, um, thin formula. But it's a really pretty color. I do feel like it's kind of, you need a couple layers or you need to pile it on top of like a white eyeliner or eyeshadow base just to really get that pigment to show up. But it's a really pretty color and this is one that I would totally put on my eyelids and then put another shimmery eyeshadow on top of it just to really make it pop. Um, it's kind of like that pewter color. I love that and I like that with brown eyes. I don't know why I just do. So I was really excited to try that. But again, the if you were to look at this at the normal price tag, I would say it's honestly on par with drugstore. So I don't think this is one you need to pay full price for at all. Next thing I got was, again, the shade Porcelain. It's the Bobbi Brown Skin Moisture Compact Foundation. So it's from that same line. This does look really light. But I was, I was curious because I don't try a lot of products like this. Honestly, though, that kind of blended right in. I think I... I, think I I think in my head I'm tanner than I am. I'm so pale. And I know I'm pale. That's why I ordered porcelain. But then I'll see it and I'm like, no way that'll work. But then I'm like, oh wait, no, Jessica, you really are that decently pale. Um, so I think that will work, but I've never really tried high-end foundations like this. I think, yes, so this comes with like one of those sponges, I haven't used it yet, that you can use to apply it. And honestly, that might be the best way to apply it because you could use a brush, you could probably dip your beauty blender in it if you wanted to. Um, but again, excited to give that a try. And I love that it was half off. So those are all of the high-end products that I've picked up recently um, or gotten from various ways. I've also gotten a lot of like full ranges of some lip products. I'm not including those in here because I'll probably do separate videos on them and this video would be 10 years long. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, please subscribe. If you are subscribed, click that notification little bell wherever it is on the screen. That way you're notified right away the second I upload a new video, you can be one of the first to watch it. I hope in the meantime that you'll catch me on my social media, which is right up there. I like to snap all the time about makeup and just different things I'm trying out and how they look on the face or how they swatch, things like that. Otherwise, I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye.